Hey guys, Space here from Caffeine Simulations. Today, we're going to hop in the cockpit of our T-38C Talon and go over the avionics update part 2, Navigation. First on tonight's tasting menu is the Nav Beacon submenu. Here you can tune the VOR frequencies as well as air-to-air -air and air-to-ground TACAN. These menu changes are reflected in the Nav Data Block, located in the bottom right corner of all three map pages. Up next, the main upfront control panel has had its functionality expanded since part 1, with the ability to select GPS points to navigate to. These points can either be a user-defined waypoint with a 3-digit identifier, or they can be an ICAO code for a fixer airport. The UFCP's main menu adapts depending on the selected primary navigation source, PNS for short, which can be selected using the top six buttons of the MFD on any page. This also enables shortcuts for switching beacon frequencies for the matching navigation source. Next, we'll talk about the primary flight reference page, which contains all of your basic flight information. Unlike the majority of the pages, the PFR shows the angle of attack in G meters, in addition to the airspeed, attitude, and altitude that's found on every other page. Each primary navigation source has its own color code. EGI in light blue, VOR in purple, TACAN in orange, and ILS in yellow. The current selected navigation source is reflected by the boxed range, the color of the course heading, and the course deviation indicator. Note that you can see all available navigation sources arrows and ranges regardless of which source is selected. Pressing the course rocker switch on the top right of the MFD allows you to adjust the desired course to or from the navigational source. Up next, our radio beacon simulation. Our radio beacon simulates line of sight and range calculations, shown here on the Dream 7 departure from Nellis Air Force Base. As you can see, the Boulder City TACAN signal has picked up several miles north of the runway. As we approach the 344 radial from the Boulder City TACAN while on the Dream 7 departure, the course deviation indicator begins to move towards the aircraft. Each dot on the course deviation represents 5 degrees of radial from the selected course. The set UFCP page will be covered in more depth later. However, on row 2, you can set the course to a specific heading. Pressing the UR2 button will preview the plane's current heading. Then, pressing UR2 again within 5 seconds will jump the course to the plane's current heading. Waypoints can be created and edited manually. In this example, we will create waypoint 037, then steer to it. After selecting the DST UFCP page and selecting waypoint 037, the latitude and longitudes are entered in the rows 2 and 3, and the altitude in the row 4. We can verify the waypoint has been created by checking the DEST page and scrolling through the waypoints until we see 037. Coming back to the main menu of the UFCP, we can use row 1 to select a new waypoint, then steer the jet towards it. Switching to the horizontal situation display page, the pilot is presented with 180 degrees of area in front of the jet and out to the selected range. The blue airport icons can be toggled off by changing the declutter mode to mode 1. If EGI is selected as a navigation source, the course line is drawn through the selected EGI point.
The situation display functions the same as the HSD, but with a 360 degree view around the pilot. The navigation system powering the T-38C is open source to the community, and it is actively being updated with new features. This includes fetching airport information, as well as tuning VOR, TACAN, and ILS beacons, all available to be used on your next DCS project. Be sure to join us on Discord to connect with the devs and to stay up to date on the T-38C Talon project.